A mother-to-be who needs items for her baby sees a post in her community Facebook group offering to give away a bunch of baby items to an expecting mom. The mother responds to the post, not realizing the person is preying on pregnant women in hopes of gaining trust and then stealing their baby. This is what happened to Ashley Boone Bush on October 31st, 2022. Ashley and her baby girl lost their lives because a woman faked her pregnancy to keep her husband. This is a trigger warning. This video will discuss topics of kidnapping, unaliving, and removing a fetus from the womb. If these topics cause emotional distress, please click off now. Ashley was 33 years old on October 31st and 31 weeks pregnant with a baby girl. She was the mother of three, a son and two daughters, with another daughter on the way. Their ages, eight, seven, and two. Her fiance, Josh Willis, recently had back surgery and was out of work. Ashley was in her third trimester and was taking off work because of gestational hypertension. They were struggling and in desperate need of items for their baby. Ashley makes a couple of posts asking if anyone has any baby items they are willing to part with. These posts were made in her community Facebook group for giveaways. On October 24, 2022, she sees a post by a person with the name Lucy Barrow. The post states, I have a bunch of baby items if any mom-to-be needs them. Ashley and Lucy connect based on this post. They meet in person on October 28, 2022 at a public library. Lucy talks with Ashley about a work from home position. This is exactly the type of job Ashley wants and needs. They part ways and that evening Lucy calls stating she wants Ashley to meet her supervisor on October 31st, 2022. On October 31st, Josh drives Ashley to a convenience store where they arrange to meet Lucy. Ashley leaves the store with Lucy and is gone for quite some time. She texts Josh around 3 p.m. saying she was on her way back to the convenience store. While waiting for Ashley, Josh noticed the truck that Lucy was driving drives past the store. She doesn't stop. He starts calling his fiance because he's kind of curious on what's going on and why they didn't stop but those calls went straight to voicemail. Josh tries to follow the truck and is unable to keep up. Lucy never returned to the store with Ashley. Josh files a missing person report. The sheriff investigators were able to find an IP address for Lucy and it traced back to a Jamie Waterman who lives in Pineville. Is Jamie Waterman Lucy? No, no, he's not. Jamie is married to a woman named Amber Waterman. Now let's talk about Jamie and his wife, Amber. Jamie and Amber are both 42 and had their ups and downs per their social media. Jamie posted in May 2022 about how he was giving his wife access to his Facebook and people better be ready to be blocked or deleted. Then he posts about how he's changing his phone number. So I'm thinking Amber must have found that he was talking to other women. Amber posts a few times about how she's pregnant and is going to raise her baby without Jamie. She made a TikTok showing a picture of an ultrasound with the caption, this is what you're leaving behind. In reviewing Amber's social media account, she talks about her pregnancy, but looking at pictures, she does not look pregnant at all. That's because Amber wasn't pregnant. She faked her pregnancy to keep Jamie. She made up the character Lucy to prey on pregnant women. Amber unalived Ashley on October 31st, 2022 and took her baby girl from her womb. 
Amber called 911, stating she was in labor and would meet the ambulance at a store in McDonald County. When the paramedics arrived, they found Amber with a placenta in her pants. The paramedics found the newborn not breathing and were not able to revive her. The newborn did not survive. Now let's talk about this placenta in the pants thing. If you follow the Taylor Parker case, this is the same thing she did. I'm curious if Amber has been following that case. If so, she should have known the newborn may not survive. If you have not heard of Taylor, I'll have a video about her soon. November 3rd, Jamie Waterman tells investigators that Amber did unalive Ashley and took them to her body. I will not go into details of the gruesome acts of Ashley's unaliving. Jamie Waterman has been charged with one count of being an accessory after the fact to kidnapping resulting in unaliving. Amber Waterman has been charged with one count of kidnapping resulting in unaliving. Ashley Boone Bush and her family had several happy events coming up in their lives and they were shattered due to a senseless act. Also, ladies, if he is not into you, move on. There's no reason to take the life of someone to try and keep a man who doesn't want you. Let's think about that. This woman took the lives of two innocent human beings trying to keep a man who sounds like has been cheating on her and doesn't want her.